Hello everybody and welcome to NCL, uh, the Nimbus City League Week 2. Uh, today I'm versing Hayden and the Pittsburgh Pit Clubs, um, who beat me in the finals of the CCBL, so let's try and get my revenge right here. Huh? Um, I have Defensive Landorus uh, with Rocky Helmet, uh, that was mainly to try and get some chip on Megabee and uh, Crocodile. He did not bring Megabee though, so that's decent for me. Um, I have a defensive Rotom Heat, which was meant to be a uh, switch in for Scizor, which he didn't bring. Hey. No, sorry, that's uh, different, <laughs> different league, never mind. Uh, but yes, Sizzle once again, uh, sorry, not Sizzle, um, Mega B once again, uh, would have struggled to switch into this Rotom Heat. Um, and it was a switch into B most of the time. Uh, I got my defensive, oh, well, special defensive today, I believe it is mostly, um, Gorgeist. Get some Leech Seed off, that'll be nice. Um, Phytinium Z Sneasel, uh, hitting the Crook with a Fight Z Low Kick, or a, um, or the Pharaoh, Pharaoh, Pharaoh Thorn with a Lightning, uh, Fighting, what the fuck am I even saying, it's too early, uh, Pharaoh Thorn with a Fight Z will be nice too. Choice Scarf, Toxicroak, and Quiver Dance, and Webs. Uh, lead Rebombi, I think. So, uh, actually, I should put my mons into the calcs. Probably a good idea there. Crook, Stealth Rug, Moonblast. A lead with Rebombi. As he leads with the Tornadus. Um, now... I guess at this point, I just go for the Moonblast, find out if I'm faster or not, see if he's Scarf Tornadus or not, see how much damage I'm doing, because um, this thing's going to have Defog, unlikely, uh, it's either this or the Volcanion that does, so putting up my webs now is maybe not the best idea. Uh, and I mean, I think he's led this just because Hurricane hurts pretty much everything that I have. Um, except for the Rotom Heat, too badly. But yeah, absolutely destroys anything else. But yeah. We'll get some damage on this then. Um, Alright, so that's good. Still got my Sash. Uh, he's going to switch in the Ferrothorn here probably. Or Volcanion if it's vested or something like that. Um, which chip will be nice on that. I mean, I don't really have a Volcanion switch in at all. But... Like, he's going to have to pick between going for a fire move or a water move. It's going to be a 
so. Uh, Ravombi did. Ravombi did 23%. So that's, yeah, uh, maybe a low roll here, but. So it's got a bit more bulk, probably. Um, Psychic's doing 34 maximum. Old switch is doing sixty eight point two. I mean, a water move here seems like the best bet because that hits more, but does. Guess we'll see. Yep. Right, so Rasim Z. Here comes a fire move. More than likely. I mean, if he if he double steam eruptions here, then that's just a good play on his part, I guess. Um. Actually, how much does that steam eruption do? 4.7. Not choice specs, obviously. So it looks like it probably is max special attack modest. Uh, not specs, so that makes uh, things a tiny little bit easier, I guess. Unless it's if it's max or near to max speed, then that kind of sucks for me. <clears throat> All right, Tornadus got a life orb. Um, Crook can come in here probably. Then that's my switch into Landorus there. I mean, even Volcanion could come back in here. 
Um, I mean, him um, switching into Tornadus there was interesting. Uh, he could have just gone for any offensive move on Volcanion there and done some damage to my team. Um, what he wants to go into here. Volcanion probably. No. Brook. And that's just going into Landorus. Get my stealth rocks up. <clears throat> Crit sucks, but what can you do? Um, let's see. Andrus, Crook. Crit did 53.5% while intimidated. Uh, like, is that banned damage? Expert belt? No, banned? Yeah, looks like it's banded. Says Ferrothorn. I mean, rocks are coming probably coming out here. Would be a leech seed, too. Um. Well, let's just go into the Rotom Heat here. Uh, I think getting up webs is going to be pretty important for that Volcanion actually now. We saw that happening. Uh, let's just get an overheat off here. If we don't miss, it's going to hit something real hard. I just I mean, I'm just going to overheat again. <laughs> Not gonna overthink this. Um, Crook could come in. Which if that happens, I just go into Lando again. Sack that off, more than likely. I mean, Overheat is still gonna be hitting the Crook pretty dang hard.
going to be hitting anything hard if it hits. Even the Volcanion's not going to appreciate it. Especially with the rocks up. Um, I don't think... even bad all right um landerous is my switch in here actually freedom heat versus seb striker what's seb striker gonna do to me not really a lot uh So let's see, special attack, uh, minus two, 3.6 max. Just go for another overheat here. Didn't do as much as I thought, I guess. Uh, first one did 46 rocks. And then 6. Assault vested, maybe. Looks like it could be. Um, downplay just finishes this. Uh, very good that that is down now. Um, so you want to bring in here? Canyon maybe? Torn maybe? And Torn probably not because... Foul play is still going to be hurting that thing, even if I'm ma minus four. Yeah, okay. Choice band, I'm assuming. I mean, I just go into Landorus and sack that off at this point. And then I can go into Rabombi. Actually, probably get my own knockoff. I can just U turn here. Um, how much did that knockoff do? 16.8. Hopefully, I should live another one then. What is Andreas doing with Earthquake? Actually, a decent amount. I think just you turning out is my best bet though. Actually, earthquaking is my best bet. Just from the fact that if I U turn, Ferrothorn can come in. Yeah, there we go.
knock off here, get rid of that leftovers. That's fine. Sixty-one percent. What did that knockoff do? Seventeen. Okay. Andreas knockoff on Pharaoh. Did okay, so. It's pretty defensive. It's got to be max defense bold. Um, okay, Rotom's probably my best way to hit it. Uh, Z low kick's not going to be doing enough, unfortunately. And it could still have that gyro ball. Well, there's no real downside to just going into Rhythm and overheating here. Um, I could actually pain split. I will pain split. He will either protect or switch if he leech seeds and that's just good play and actually yeah I'm gonna pain split as he does protect okay some leftovers for me that's good now I'll overheat I'm getting an overheat on whatever wants to come in will be good for me Solid resist there, uh, but it's in range of a Toxic Rogue Earthquake now. Uh, let's see. That. Um, canyon. I don't think it's got substitute, but took 14% from that overheat. So, I mean, that sounds that it seems like a pretty standard uh, special attack, not much HP set. It's only had Volt Switch there. Now, does he attack what's in front of him, or...? Does he expect the Gore guy switching again? <laughs> what do I need? I need Rotom, I need Rotom Heat for the Ferrothorn, to be honest. Let's see, Toxicroak versus Pharaoh Thorn. Yeah, Drain Punch isn't doing enough, especially since we know it's max defense. And what is Sneasel? One, two, Rotom, 
uh, not the Rotom, Rotom's mine, uh, the Volcanion. Okay, and knock off actually won't kill because it's not left over, so it is Grassy MZ. A little bit more chip on this thing, unfortunately. Um, I mean, I think either way, I sack the cool guys here. Spicy. Right, how much did that do? Okay. If he goes for another flame charge. So right, I sat Gore guys here anyway, and um, Scarf Toxicroak comes in. Okay, he goes for that flamethrower. That's good. Uh, let's see. If I bring in the Toxicroak, he's going to show me could think that I'm dry skin. I think I think Toxic Croak gets dry skin. Um and you'll think that he'd be able to kill with flamethrower probably. What does the uh, normal Toxic Croak <laughs> Dry skin is the pretty standard one for the Toxic Croak. Either way, I bring in the Toxicroak here, and um, <clears throat> I go for the Earthquake, or Toxicroak versus um, Canyon. Yeah, I don't want to risk going for anything else that's not going to kill, so I just go for the Earthquake here. He's got to be thinking that I might be scarfed, but he could go into the Tornadus to scout for that. But this is my only play. Everything else dies. Unfortunately. Come on, lose this Fog Canyon. <laughs> That'll be good for me. Yes. Yes. That's good. Um, but now he's got uh free move into Tornadus. And I basically have to lose something at this point. And I don't want to lose Toxicroak, so... 
we know it's life orb, so we know that Rabombi is faster. Once croaked versus Fog Canyon. Uh, not Fog Canyon. Fog Canyon's dead, thank God. Tornadus. Sense of support. Let's see. Going to Rotom Heat. Hurricane is doing enough to two hit KO, but he's got to go for that. I guess. Uh, Rabombi is doing enough with Moonblast to kill at this range, which is nice. So yeah, I think I just risk him missing Hurricanes. That. Um. Now, I should live one more, actually, so... Um... I don't want to pay the split there, actually. <laughs> Crook could come in. I mean, I think I just overheat for the safety. Guess the hurricane doesn't kill. And I hit my overheat good. That thing's gone. Um, Now, basically, Rotom is useless to me. Unfortunately... But I think I have enough left that I should be okay here. Um, yeah, Rotom can't switch in on rocks again, and I don't have any defog on my team, and he's got no defog uh, possibilities left on his team either. So Rotom goes down here, and depending, I think Rabombi could be a good bring in next. So I mean, it's kind of walled by Ferrothorn at this point, unfortunately. Uh, I think he brings. I think he brings Girder in here, potentially. So I mean that is some free damage if he does. Or a pain split actually. Um so, yeah, Mac Punch will kill. Yeah. Well, I go for the pain split. Mac Punch should kill here. Um, uh, let's see. Toxicroak. <sighs> He's out damaging my Toxicroak. I think I have to go into Rebombi here. Uh, he could quite easily... I think Gerdo gets Bullet Punch. Sneasel will die to a Mac Punch, so I can't bring that in at the moment. <clears throat> now, Ferrothorn is still a problem. I 
expect. Right, let's see. Bombay this. Ferrothorn can come in here. Um, but also he can Mac Punch. Uh, to make it so that I can't come in on rocks again. Anyway, if Gerda goes down here, I think I can win. I mean, actually, Scarf Toxicroak just wins at the moment, I think. Toxicroak verse. Uh, Brook. <clears throat> and he's not he's not scarf, right? He's definitely banned. Okay, maybe he is scarf. How was he doing so much damage? Oh well. Either way. Uh, actually, freak. Well, actually, I'm not minus one. Okay, drain punch kills. Oh. Punch should kill. Oh, I just drain punch again. Um, comes in. I get intimidated, obviously. Sack the Sneasel. I mean, he's actually going to be faster, unfortunately. I think. No? Phew. So he was scarfed to outspeed whatever my fastest mon was, Rebombi, I guess. Uh, I don't know how that works, but yeah, all right, cool. I'll take it. Uh, thank you for watching, everyone, and um, I'm going to have to have a talk to Hayden and see what his sets were um, after the match. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you later.